One question I've heard a lot lately is, how do you hook up Jira and GitHub? Today I'll show you how. The first thing you'll need is a repository, so that you can go to settings for your profile and link that repository to Jira. Inside of Jira, under Development Tools, you select Connect a New Development Tool and choose GitHub. That will ask you for your team or user account and a client ID and client secret. You get those under Settings here when you register a new OAuth application and choose Jira. You'll put this back into Jira. It'll ask you to authorize the application in GitHub and then you're good to go. Now, if you'll recall from my previous video, what I like to do is have epic branches, if needed, and story branches. The stories always need to be there, even if it's straight off develop, but that's very easy to do now that these are linked, because we put in the issue key, like ABC-123, in all caps, and then it notices it. As an extra bonus, if it's an epic branch, I go ahead and put epic at the beginning of the summary in GitHub, and the same is true for a story. Once you've separated out the workflow for stories or technical enablement that include a state like code review and testing, you can start doing things like integrating uh, GitHub statuses and changes, as well as Jenkins if you want. You do this by adding transitions to your workflow. Now, You'll notice that I still have all statuses mapped to all statuses because I want JIRA to be an effective communication tool to anyone uh, who might be looking, including the business or the project manager. At the same time though, you do need to add specific transitions if you're going to add in any options related to this. So you can see that here my transition is that the code was merged and a build was generated. You can use not only GitHub, but also Jenkins for this. In this case, I've created one trigger purely based upon the uh, code being accepted, the code being merged into the next branch. As soon as that merge is approved, I know the Jenkins server is going to run, so I don't really need to make a second trigger. Several of these triggers actually come out of the box as soon as you hook it up the way that I showed you uh, previously. This is a pretty powerful thing because we can actually update statuses and even make comments with our various tools. Next time I'll show you how to integrate a Slack bot.